Hello everyone, I'm Saturnax. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be testing the M1 MacBook Air in Blender. A year ago, I recorded a video testing the Acer Intro 5 in the Blender. And now, once I have more laptops such as the M1 MacBook Air and the Lenovo Legion 5, I want to test the program on these devices. Let's go. All right, so here we go with a power outlet. And now let's also close all the files and programs we have running so that we can utilize the most of the power. All right, all programs closed. Let's go to the Blender. And first of all, we will try to render the lightest projects, just the BMW project. And then we will scale it to the more demanding ones, such as the classroom one and the one you see here on a preview. So let's go file open the BMW project. Let's go GPU Blender. And in the next video, I will compare the score of this ML MacBook Air to the gaming PC I have, Gen Legion 5. All right, let's go. Uh, this is how it looks like, as you can see. It's very, very beautiful. Um, once I just scroll through the file and just try to, you know, look around, there is literally no stuttering and you can just work on the projects just as well as any other computer which has enough power to run the Blender. All right, now let's try rendering. Render, render image, start. All right, very, very good. Um, two minutes and 15, over 50 seconds is very, very good score as for this test. The Mac does not heat at all. It's very, very cold in touch. Once I just touch on an area where the CPU and the GPU is, so no worries, you won't get burn or anything. And the render times of this Mac are absolutely amazing. It's crazy how thin this laptop is and at the same time how powerful it is. Let's go with the next project. Here it is, the classroom project. Now it looks a little bit more complex, but as you can see, I'm very, very smoothly able to work on the project and there's literally no problem with controlling the model and working on it. I'm absolutely stunned how great this laptop performs the test. Now let's try rendering it, of course. Render, image render, three, two, one, let's go. All right, so we're done. It took us 16 minutes and 40 seconds, so much longer time than the last project, but this one is much, much more intensive. And as I touch the laptop, it's definitely hotter with a processor and GP lines, but I gotta say that if you just are going to use this thing normally then you won't feel any higher temperature and even though you are just you know having laptop on your laps it is not going to burn you let's continue with the last project more intensive one this is what we are going to render so now as you can see when i just try to move around the project it does not have any lags and i can still edit the project no problem whatsoever so that's pretty cool and uh, yeah, let's start rendering it. Three, two, one, let's go.
Okay, so the last project took us like 16 minutes and 12 seconds to render and we did it. Uh, actually, it was faster than the classroom project. It turned out that the classroom project is the most intensive one. But yeah, as you can see, there is literally no problem whatsoever when I move through 3D files and uh, you can definitely edit the project on the M on MacBook Air as well as render it. And keep in mind that this is the base model of the M1 MacBook Air. It has 8GB of RAM only, 256GB of storage, and you can get that for less than $1000. Links in the description. In the next video, I'll be also comparing this laptop to the gaming one, Lenovo Legion 5. And uh, yeah, see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscription if you like this video. And then uh, see you in the next one. Bye.